Connecting the Dots, Reliving Northwood's History with Carrie Bladorn. Located just west of Rhinelander, Wisconsin, this property holds a special significance as the former site of a beloved local landmark, the fabulous Crystal Rock Ballroom. Affectionately known as The Rock, this venue played a pivotal role in the Northwoods community, serving as a backdrop for cherished memories and life events. For many, this was the place where they saw their first live music, shared their first kiss, met their significant other, got married, went to a dance, celebrated a momentous occasion, supported a charity, or simply learned how to roller skate. Crystal Rock was a place where history and memories were made. The Crystal Rock traces its history back to Milwaukee natives Frank and Gladys Ledua, or Pat as she was better known. In his youth, Frank was a minor league baseball pitcher for several teams including the Fond du Lac Panthers and the Milwaukee Fault Corporation, even attracting the attention of the Milwaukee Brewers before the Braves came to town. Frank and Pat would relocate their young family to the Northwoods of Wisconsin in the late 40s and purchase Rest Bay Resort on Crescent Lake. Frank began a construction business and developed a style of concrete architecture dubbed Dua Stone, which can still be seen in Rhinelander and other Northwoods towns today. Frank continued to play ball for a local team called the Shorties, sponsored by the Rhinelander Brewing Company. In 1955, they embarked on an ambitious project of building a ballroom just off of Highway 8, five miles west of Rhinelander. The Laduas didn't just have it built, Frank actually built it, with the whole family pitching in. They adorned the dance floor with a striking crystal ball that would inspire its name. The grand opening of Crystal Rock on June 22, 1957 marked the beginning of an era filled with music, dance, and celebration. The ballroom's versatility made it a popular choice for weddings and community events, solidifying its status as a cultural hub in the area. It included a bar, and Pat ran an in-house catering and floral arrangement business there as well. In the following years, the Laduas developed a relationship with John Moss, who ran a booking agency out of Wassa. Over the years, the venue hosted a diverse array of performers, from local bands to nationally renowned acts. The Rock hosted Grand Old Opry star Johnny Cash on three separate occasions. Early rock and roll acts such as the Fenderman, the Everly Brothers, and Carl Perkins performed there. The Jimmy Dorsey Band, Glenn Miller protege Hal McIntyre, and other big band era orchestras performed at The Rock. America's King of Polka, Frank Yankovic, and comedian Minnie Pearl also graced the stage. Most famously, Buddy Holly and the Crickets performed at Crystal Rock on July 13, 1958, the summer before he tragically died in a plane crash. Many of the acts that performed at Crystal Rock stayed at the Ladua's Resort. On one occasion, Frank Yankovic fell asleep on a swim raft on Crescent Lake. He was so sunburned, he struggled to perform a show. Pat Ladua later reminisced that Johnny Cash and the Everly Brothers were very nice young men, that Buddy Holly was not very personable, choosing to spend time before and after their set waiting in their cars in the parking lot, which they slept in across the street from the Rock that night. Buddy Holly's grueling tour schedule and the fact that one of their touring vehicle's tires had been slashed in Wassa the night before might have accounted for his less than friendly visit. Still, he played all of his hits to a packed house at the Crystal Rock. 